Hi, I'm Dirk Hagedorn at ProLight and Sounds 2013. I'm here with front of house engineer for Korn, Marko Vujovic. Marko, welcome. Hi, hello, good to see you. Yeah, it's great to have Marco here. Uh, he's, uh, he's basically demoing for, for all four days of the show. Uh, he's brought in some pro some corn projects. And uh, so why don't we start out? So how long have you been uh, doing front house for corn? Um, since 2009 now. Yeah, that's that was my first run on in, in Europe, 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, it took a year. That, um, then that the band could imagine that they want me to do all the shows worldwide. And since 2010, I mixed all the corn shows worldwide. Yeah. And have you been using venue uh, the whole time, or you know, or are you uh, recent, you know, recent to venue? No. A recent convert? No, 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 definitely not. No, it's um, uh, to be honest, um, it was a it was a proper decision. Um, when, when, when they asked me in 2009 to do um, uh, the, the, the European run, I, um, I tried many consoles to, to, yeah, to be sure that um, uh, I make the right decision to have one console as my partner during, uh, for, for, for the entire tour. And um, that was my decision mm -hmm. for when you profile or for, for, for a D-show system. Yeah, so when you go with Corn now, what, are you, you know, so what system are you taking with you? Um, usually it's a, it's a venue profile system. So, because it depends on, on, on truck space. Um, on the, on the bigger, bigger tours like uh, the Music as a Weapon tour we did in, in America or the Mayhem tour, um, there is truck space, for example, not, a, not, not an issue at all. So then, then in these cases, I always prefer to have a, a, a D-show surface, but um, uh, on the smaller tours we, we carry a profile profile system. So I know you do a lot of um, you know you do a lot of work to match the sounds that they're getting in the studio. So you know so how does venue uh, you know work into your flow as far as you know as far as recreating the sound of the album live? So I mean, in general, the 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 venue system. Um, is the closest system on live desks to studio work anyway. This is my opinion about it. Um, you're so flexible to have all these options to work with um, uh, different kind of plugins and um, uh, you have a real delay comp uh, compensation in all the subgroups as well. So you can, you can work with uh, New York compression and, and all that kind of stuff and that makes makes the, the entire system so much more, yeah, proper or, yeah, it, it, it really feels like mixing in the studio sometimes when, you, when, when, when the environment is very good as well. Do you, do you, uh, you know, like, do you work very closely with, you know, with the studio engineers, you know, it's like to help train um, the Not with all the, the older corn songs, but um, indeed we did that for the, for the latest album, for the Path of Totality album, um, because uh, that was a pretty, uh, it was, was a pretty big adventure for, for corn as well. They, they tried to change metal again, that's what they said. Um, it is a col collabro album um, of corn with um, uh, a bunch of uh, dubstep producers like Skrillex and Datsik and many other uh, on this album and uh, it's the first time that um, uh, Korn had running a Pro Tools system on stage with for all these whoop, whoop, whoop sounds and um, all these freaky funky um, uh, dubstep sounds and uh, yeah in this case we, we worked a lot with a studio engineer who mixed this album he did the stamps for us. We worked about two weeks on, on the stamps. Uh, we had uh, proper rehearsals to find the right levels, to, to, to know what, what kind of stamps do I need. Uh, to, for example, I have all the, the percussion sounds on, on a separate stamp, um, like shakers or uh, some, some fill-in snares or stuff like that. And um, then I have uh, a low endy synth stem with all these sounds they are very bass heavy and um, a keyboard stem with all the other keyboard and harmonic stuff yeah and um, Ray the, the, the drummer Korn's drummer he's um, 
playing uh, all these sounds from Reason, from the album. That means you can He's playing live, but he uh, his, his his kick drum has a trigger, and he's triggering or firing the sounds from Reason, and these are the original sounds from the album. And that's uh, this was a uh, that was pretty much an very new for Korn and for me as well. And uh, in these two weeks, we we worked very close together with uh, with uh, with Bud, the the studio engineer who mixed this album. Yeah, it was fun, by the way. Yeah, very cool. So you know, so basically, I mean, when you're going out, obviously they're still doing a lot of their older material. Yeah. So it's it's you know you're just using the you know the ability of the console basically. To do both, you know, it's like both the latest, uh, uh, you know, it's like with backing tracks and triggers and all of that, you know, as well as obviously the classic tracks uh, that the fans are expecting to hear. Yeah, I mean, the the point is, um, this was the more or less the biggest challenge on tour. We had to fix this thing, or it's, it wasn't really a problem, but um, we had to figure that out in the first during the first two or three gigs. Um, there was no other way to to, to, to find that out um, than in a in a in a, in a serious uh, live situation with a in, a in a in a proper big venue with with an audience in there um, to to find a way how can you connect these two sound cultures uh, the older songs and uh, the the new dubstep stuff dubstep metal stuff from 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 the new album and. Um, that means uh, there, of course, um, I, I, I had to cut a little bit the low end of, of uh, all that synthetic uh, keyboards and um, very hard sub, sub bass sounds a little bit more than you would do it on a proper rave or, or on a, um, or in, an, in an album mix. Um, and. I'm using only the trigger sounds from the drum kit um, uh, for from kick drum and snare from Reason uh, in the in the new songs, and during during these songs like Get Up or Cannibal, um, uh, Narcissistic Cannibal, and all these songs from from the Path of Totality album, um, I'm just muting the mics on the snare on on, on on the kick drum, but the rest of the drum kit like the toms and the the cymbals, they're still in the mix from his acoustic drum kit. So if he's playing, and he is, playing some tum, tum fills or tum rolls, he's playing that from, from, the, from the acoustic um, uh, a drum kit, but the kick drum signal and uh, the snare signal is coming out of the reason. And uh, when, when they play their, their older songs, I'm just unmute kick drum and snare again. That's it. And take out the uh, the low cut out of um, Phil D's bass because I'm low cutting his his bass a little bit, so it fits better in in all these um, uh, dubstep sounds. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so so finally, you know, I'm, I, as far as the the interoperability with with Pro Tools, the recording, uh, the playback, the virtual sound check. What uh, you know, it's like how do you use that? You know, on tour. You know, it's like do you multi-track every performance or? Uh, you know, do you do virtual sound checks? Do you guys do live sound checks? What's you know, like, I know how do you guys use it? <laughs> yeah, um, sound check with corn. That's a <laughs> that's, that's another story. Um, sometimes they 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 want to do sound check, but it's not so often, to be honest. Uh, so I'm using um, virtual sound check from from time to time, but fortunately we have very good backliners. So um, most most of the time, um, it's uh, we we have fun at the sound check with with the backliners, and uh, it's uh, it's it's not necessary to, to to have a virtual sound check. But sometimes I really appreciate that that option. Um, yeah, and um, working with snapshots, um, I never worked with snapshots for uh, in corn um, till we. Till till, uh, till we played these new songs from the past, or past totality album. Of course, there is from song to song in these new songs. I mean, I'm talking about um, the the sounds are changing. It's not you have in Get Up another kick drum sound, for example, than in in uh, Way Too Far, or uh, of course you have other keyboard sounds, and um, that's what we 
what I'm really focused, especially uh, during the soundtrack time, that we play all the new songs which are in the set list for this day during during the afternoon. So I, I put my cues, my my levels, and all that kind of stuff for 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 the the particular venue on this day, and um, I have my snapshots and I'm saving it, and that's what I'm what I fire during the show in the evening. So, but it's only unfortunately I do not have them right now here in, in the back, the snapshots to show, but um, I'm only recalling these, uh, or th these channels which are necessary for the new songs. So it doesn't affect, none of my snapshots doesn't affect any other of the um, acoustic, acoustic channels I'm using for the old, the old stuff like right now or falling away from me and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All right, Marco, thank you so much for sharing some time with us. And uh, be sure to check out other interviews on avid.com.